Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Redis Days 2022. I'm so excited to be here with all of you in person in Bangalore today. It has been three long years since the last time we've been here in person in Bangalore. By the way, by raise of hand, anyone has been in the previous Redis Days in early 2020? Great. Thank you, everyone, for coming back. We have a lot of new stuff to share with you today. So when we had to think about, after taking three years of hiatus, which city we're going to bring Redis Days back into, the decision was pretty easy. In the last three years, India has emerged as a global powerhouse for Redis adoption. Let's talk about adoption for a minute. Over 10,000 students from India went through Redis University courses, and this is the number one in terms of attendance in the world. That represents 40% growth in the number of students year over year. When we look at another adoption indicator, how many accounts were created on Redis Cloud? Again, India is the global leader with a growth of 10x between three years ago till today. And that's what makes India our number one international market outside of the US. Let's look back and reflect on what happened in those three years. I'm sure everyone in the room can look back and reflect on what the pandemic has done to each and every business. And when I say every business, I'm talking about the businesses that we all work for, but also businesses that we interact with as consumers. We all had to move from in-person to virtual and remote. We had to change from brick and mortar to curbside delivery and home delivery. And all that summed up with a tremendous amount of digitalization of businesses and so much disruption. Now, another interesting aspect of digitalization is that many of us as consumers and people that are consumers have actually started to shift their attention from being loyal to brands to pay much more attention to experiences. Years of brand loyalty could be very easily undone in one or two very negative digital experiences. In a study that was run recently by Salesforce, 90% of the respondents have replied and said that the experiences that they get from the businesses are as important or even in some cases more important than the goods or services that they get from that same business. And this is why real-time data and real-time applications are so important to enhance consumer experiences. So let's break it down and try to understand what it actually means. Trying to put it in the simplest words, speed equals revenue. In a recent Deloitte study, it showed that if you shave one-tenth of a second from a website response time, you will raise the amount that a customer will spend on that transaction by an average of 10%. So think about it, and let's try to put the definition of real time into numbers. There's been a lot of research that eventually boiled down to the fact that 100 milliseconds of end to end response time are considered as real time experience. That's the timing of you have no delay and get to this phase of what I can consider as flow between you and the application that you interact with. Now, when you think about what it means at the data layer level, we have a 100x factor, meaning that for every millisecond latency that is generated at the database level, we drive 100 milliseconds overall latency at the end-to-end -end level. So that means that if we want to be able to drive real-time experiences, we need to think about a data layer 
that is able to support sub-millisecond latency. Now, you all, we all have this kind of intuitive understanding of what a flow is, right? When you don't have this delay between the time you make a request to the app that until the time the response gets back to you. What happens if this flow is not there? When the flow is not there, you actually start to be distracted with other things that can get in the way. Once the response is not there, it's very likely for you to jump and do something else. And once you do, the likelihood of you not completing that transaction, not, you not completing that purchase gets higher and higher. That's the correlation. So let's take a look at a few examples. You play an online game. You book travel tickets and hotel for your next trip with a credit card on your laptop. Um, you check your favorite social media from your mobile phone. You research, stock, and conduct trade from your mobile device. In all those examples, you actually use real-time data in the back end. You expect real-time experiences, and what makes it happen is Redis. And if you want to make it happen at scale, it's Redis Enterprise, a real-time data platform. But those are not the only examples where we see real-time use cases. They actually exist in each and every space that we can think of today, spanning from retail to smart manufacturing to digital mobility, gaming, cybersecurity, hospitality, telecommunications, healthcare, um, ad tech, and of course, any social media platform that you can think of. Now, many organizations, yours included, I believe, rely on traditional databases that are unable to deliver against those use cases. So when we try to sum up the requirements for real-time delivery, we can sum them up by low latency, high throughput, always on availability, scalability that allows you to scale vertically or horizontally, and of course, flexibility to deploy that data layer anywhere you need it to be deployed, whether it's on the cloud or on premises or anywhere in between. And, and this is where Redis Enterprise comes in with its ability to deliver against those requirements. It has this sub-millisecond latency um, that could be supported even in a workload of millions of operations per second. On top of that, we also deliver the five nines availability, linear scalability, and the freedom to deploy anywhere. 